Let's unbox the Memon 18mm wide lens. Your purchase comes with a quick start instruction guide, which is intuitive and reminds you that you will need to purchase either the M series case or the lens mount to attach your lens. This is going to cost between $20 and $40, depending on the deals that Memon is offering. You'll also get a microfiber carrying bag, which is high quality, albeit a little small and tight. The lens itself is constructed of aerospace grade metal and cinema quality hand polished glass. In comparison to other cheap plastic clip-on lenses on the market, the Moment 18mm wide lens's 76.2 gram weight feels pretty professional. This is the look that you'll get when you attach the Moment 18mm wide lens to an iPhone 11 Pro. Adding this lens will make your field of view 50% wider than the native wide lens on your device. Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. Today, we're here to unbox and review the 18mm wide lens from Moment. Let's get to it. It's worth noting that this video was filmed in tandem with the unboxing and review of the Moment 58mm Tele lens because the 18mm wide and the 58mm Tele are the most normal photography and filmmaking lenses from Moment. The 18mm wide lens that we're going to talk about in this video is ideal for landscapes, whereas the 58mm Tele that we talk about in the video up there is ideal for portraits. The Moment 18mm wide lens is going to have about 50% wider field of view. It's also going to have a working distance of less than an inch, which compared to the 58mm Tele lens working distance of around 8 inches is much, much better. As is the case with all Moment lenses, it's going to feature a multi-layer lens coating, which is low flare with broadband anti-reflection. As I noted earlier, the Moment wide lens is going to weigh in at 76.2 grams. As is the case with all Moment lenses, you're going to mount it via the M-series bayonet mounting system, which is, as far as I've experienced, the best way to mount lenses to your phone. Before we wrap up, I would be remiss in not mentioning the Moment vs. Sandmark series episode all about wide lenses. You'll see two of the best options on the market head-to-head -head so that you can choose the right one for your needs. To show you what adding this wide lens will do to your content, we're going to show you the exact same scene with the two native lenses that you can attach this lens to on my iPhone, and then we're going to add the lens to both of those lenses. Then we're going to show you all of it at the same time so that you can see kind of the difference that you get by adding the lens to the tele lens or the wide lens, and yeah. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Comment down below and let us know if you're going to pick up the 18mm wide lens for a moment. Or if you want to pick up something else, ask us about it. I'd love to chat. If you do comment something, anything at all, regardless of what social platform it happens on, you'll have a chance to be shouted out at the end of one of our videos. Thanks for watching, Katato. And as always, subscribe to the channel. We're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could possibly think of if you like taking photos and videos with your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.